absolutely love having this gentleman on the show, the Irish Centurion, the TSN soccer analyst himself. It's Kevin Kilban. Kevin, great to see you. You know, Canada had their chances in that first 45. Uh, they played really well. And then in the second half, you just see the world-class play of this Argentina squad. But did it surprise you somewhat that Alfonso Davies seemed disappointed after this match, like he expected a better result from his team? Well, you've got to remember, Jay, he plays with world-class players for his club, so he's expected that when you make chances or create chances like Canada did tonight, you have to take them. He knows full well at top-level football and top-level soccer, particularly at a major tournament, you have to score. You you cannot go through games like trying to get a tie nil-nil and, and expect to get out. So with Canada creating that amount of chances, I actually understand his frustration because he knows now Canada have gone to the World Cup, created chances against Belgium, not scored, got beat, and they've done the same tonight. And that would be the overriding factor, I think, from this result tonight. And then... You know, we're all talking about Lionel Messi at the age of 36, continues to put on a show, doesn't score, but gets an assist on the Latoro Martinez goal. What did you make of Messi's performance, Kevin? Yeah, he had a few chances. Max Crapo was probably Canada's best performer tonight overall. He made two or three great saves. And I think if you're looking at Crapo with what he did, he kind of put Messi off and he was in good positions. I think Canada had a game plan to try to stop him when Messi was picking the ball up in, in, in certain areas of the field. They had two or three Canadians right on top of him to stop him having an influence. And I think it worked to an extent. But because Messi is Messi and he's so great, he opened up the game with one pass that allows Martinez to, to win the game and get that second goal, that, that decisive goal in the game. But Messi can play better, he will play better. But I think Canada did and actually, actually did quite a good job on him tonight. Let's talk about the fact that you're playing South American teams. It's a different brand of football, isn't it, Kevin? I mean, it took yeah. Canada a little while to adjust to the physical style of this Argentinian team. Do you think this is going to be a learning curve potentially for the next couple of games as well? Yeah, I think, it, well, it has to be, Jay. It simply does. You mentioned the physical style of South American teams, and that will be very evident in the next two games as well. Of course, Peru and Chile are not of the class of Argentina, but they still have very good players within the uh, ranks. They've got a, a very good setup, both those sides, and they are difficult to break down, and they're difficult teams to play against. So we might see that physical nature come to the fore even more with Peru and Chile. We might see a little bit more of the gamesmanship that we saw at times from Argentina tonight. So Canada have to be prepared for that. They have to be mentally strong, and I'm sure that Jesse Marsh will be getting them prepared accordingly for that. You know, you mentioned Jesse Marsh. Uh, Canada still yet to score a goal in three matches under their new manager. Kevin, when you're watching them play, do you see it as a tactical issue, or do you just maybe see it as just a confidence issue at this point? Uh, <sighs> No, not, not, not tactical. I think it's probably a confidence thing. If you look at Jonathan David, what he's done in the last few years for his club, we know that there's, there's a really talented goal scorer in there. So Jesse Marsh, I feel, has made great strides in the three games that he's taken um, this, this Canadian job on. I think, he's, I think we've got a definitive style for how the team plays. I think a back four suit personnel within, within the side. I think there's real attacking emphasis on the team as well. So I think he can be happy from that, from that aspect. But it does come down to, ultimately, you're not going to advance, you're not going to progress unless you take chances, unless you score goals. And that is something that maybe Jonathan David can maybe take away from this game himself personally to go I'm going to look at one or two videos I didn't quite get hold of the strikes when I had my key moments in this game but Jesse Marsh I think overall will be will be happy in showing the video back to the, to the players from this game let's talk uh, about their upcoming opponent Peru obviously we're in no position to overlook any opponent but do you see us potentially getting that confidence back against a team that that Canada's actually favored against Kevin yeah Canada will be favourites, Jay, you're right. I think there's a real chance for them if they maintain the levels that they've shown in the first few games. Jesse Marsh in his uh, post-game interviews uh, tonight, Jay, has, has spoken actually with a bit of caution. Yes, he's spoken about the that Chile and Peru might not have the quality of Argentina or of France, of, of, of the Dutch, but he's saying it will be a different game and it will be a different game. They will pose different threats. They will pose um, a different uh, sort of 
um, maybe emphasis on the game as well. So it will be different for Canada. Canada might have more possession in the game. They might uh, they might dominate in certain areas, and that might be the difficulty that they might face. That they might they might face a team that's going to play as Canada played tonight as, uh, to Argentina as underdogs, a counter-attacking sort of game. So yes, I think Canada should win the game and may win the game, certainly in the Peru game especially. But they can't take for granted what they've done in these in these uh, last three games. They have to take that forward now. They've got to play with the same sort of style. They've got to play with the same sort of confidence and swagger, I would say, as well. They've got to bring those those three performances into, um, into the game against Peru. Love talking soccer with you, buddy. Thanks for taking a little time with us and uh, get home safe, okay? Thanks, Jay. All the best. And don't forget, Kevin will be part of our coverage of Canada and Peru this Tuesday, 5 o'clock Eastern, 2 o'clock Pacific. Peru come in 31st in the FIFA World Rankings. They finished fourth at Copa America in 2021.